Fusa here from Get Found with Fuse, sharing with you um, videos on online marketing, SEO, and yes, even sometimes some technical photography related things. And today I want to talk about the lovely Nikon D750. It is my new baby. I'm loving this camera. It is vibrant. It is sharp. I love it. But there is one downside is that the files cannot be opened neither on Photoshop nor Lightroom. So you could have the latest Lightroom 5.6 or the latest CS6 or be paying the Creative Cloud, but they have not updated any plugins so far to open the raw files. But don't fret because there is a, a way to do that. Yes, it takes a few extra steps. But with the quality of the images of this camera, it's totally worth it. And I really hope soon uh, um, Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop will be able to open these files. So the first thing um, you want to do, maybe you already have the Adobe Converter. And if you go to Adobe website, they're actually only up to 8.6. But Adobe Labs does have this new version, which is a beta version. So you go to labs.adobe.com slash downloads and you're actually going to go under camera raw 8-7.html so at first you you know you don't really see anything here you have to click the agreement once you click the agreement then you ignore this camera raw part here and then you go into the converter 8.7 so if you're a mac user you click the top one. If you are a Windows user, you click the bottom one. Now, when you first open this program, it's going to actually look exactly like the old Adobe Converter 8.6. And it's going to give you a little warning sign that it's a beta program and it expires in December of this year. So just say okay to that. Next, what we want to do is we want to open the Adobe Converter and that's done by going to Applications, finding Adobe um, converter or digital negative converter. So what it looks like it's this box here and what it does is you have to find where you have your images and you decide if you want to include subfolders. Sometimes we'll have more than one folders. And then you have to pick a new location. So what you could do actually is under your your file names, you know, for your client whatever kind of workflow systems that you use. So I'll created a subfolder called converted. So I go to where my images are, my raw files, I mean. So we're going to pick select and then I'm going to select my location, which is um, the subfolder I called converted. Then you have a choice of renaming it. So I did a test here. You could call it converted and then the client's name. Okay, and then all you hit is, and then we wanted the DNG format, and you hit, actually it's only DNG, it's just a capital um, or lowercase. So then a new box starts opening, and it shows you here that it's processing, and it will start showing you once it's completed. So ideally is if you come to shoot and leave this open, um, doing it overnight. It does take a little while, but I have to say mine recently have been converted a lot faster than before. So you leave this going on, you know, behind the scenes. Then once this is fully completed, you will go into your Lightroom and you're going to go. So I'm going to only import the ones that have already been done and I already converted these files. So I'm going to actually quit this soon because I don't want to have a gazillion DNG files here. So some of you maybe might be using Photo Mechanic um, and maybe you want to cool down the images first in Photo Mechanic and then only take your selects and convert those. That could cut your time um, by a while. And the cool thing is that you can see these files in Photo Mechanic. So maybe you want to cull first. So that could be a good tip. Cull and Photo Mechanic have less images to have to convert, less time. So even though we're adding steps to our workflow, there are ways to shave off, you know, unneeded time. So then you go to your photo where your converted is. And I messed up here. Instead of putting in convert, it looks like I put it in select. So I'm going to uncheck all and I'm going to start when I once I find the DNGs and they're coming almost and you can tell that the ones haven't been converted not even a preview is available 
So once you find, find the ones that you need, let me just select here. I'll select a few. So you would select all and you put your keywords and you import. And then you'll have those DNG files. And there you have it. That's how you convert raw files from Denikon D750. I'm Kiza Reese. Thank you.